Hello, this is Tamir Zain from EliteWayForex.com and this is the Euro US Dollar Analysis for August 14th, 2015. Whether you trade short, medium or even long term, the Euro has been making it very challenging to take a clear position. One week up, one week down and the result comes down to indecisive sideways movement. Last week, the Euro came two pips short of reaching its most recent high at 1.1216. If price strongly rebounds from here, this will prove to be a critical top for several weeks to come. On the other hand, it's still possible for price to continue wandering about for another period of time, putting our patience and diligence to an even greater test. So let's go ahead and take a look at our main weekly count, which sees that the euro is still moving towards the downside in primary wave C of cycle wave X, which is forming an impulse labeled intermediate waves 1 through 5. Intermediate wave 4 formed a contracting triangle labeled minor waves A through E, retracing a few pips short of 23.6% of intermediate wave 3. Then intermediate wave 5 is most likely forming an impulse labeled minor waves 1 through 5. Within it, minor wave 1 formed an impulse labeled minute waves 1 through 5, and minor wave 2 formed a very deep double zigzag labeled minute waves W, X, and Y, each forming a zigzag labeled minute waves A, B, and C, retracing overall 99.5% of minor wave 1. It's uncommon for a second wave following a triangle to be this deep, but it's technically possible, and overall this is the most fitting count at this point. This count expects the euro to resume moving towards the downside in minor wave 3. This will be confirmed by movement below 1.0848 with higher confirmation below 1.0809. At 1.0555, minor wave 3 would reach 161.8% the length of minor wave 1. Then at 1.0148, it would reach 261.8% of its length. This wave count is invalidated by movement above 1.1216 as minor wave 2 may not move beyond the start of minor wave 1. Now let's take a look at our alternate weekly count which sees that intermediate wave 4 is still unfolding as a contracting triangle labeled minor waves A through E and within it both minor waves B and C form double zigzags labeled minute waves W, X and Y. Minor wave C retraced exactly 61.8% of minor wave B, so it's either complete or near completion. Truth is, it's very difficult to present good targets at this point, because the triangle is already looking quite irregular. However, minor wave D may reach 1.0965 before minor wave E reverses towards the upside to complete intermediate wave 4 at around 1.1118. This wave count is invalidated by movement above 1.1467 as minor wave C may not move beyond the start of minor wave B. It's also invalidated by movement below 1.0809 as minor wave D may not move beyond the start of minor wave C. That's all for our analysis for this week. I wish you profitable trading and see you next 59.5% of minor wave 1. It's uncommon for a second wave following a triangle to be this deep, but it's technically possible, and overall, this is the most fitting count at this point. This count expects the euro to resume moving towards the downside in minor wave 3. This will be confirmed by movement below 1.0848, with higher confirmation below 1.0809. At 1.0555, Minor wave 3 would reach 161.8% the length of minor wave 1, then at 1.0148 it would reach 261.8% of its length. This wave count is invalidated by movement above 1.1216 as minor wave 2 may not move beyond the start of minor wave 1. Now let's take a look at our alternate weekly count which sees that intermediate wave 4 is still unfolding as a contracting triangle labeled minor waves A through E, and within it both minor waves B and C form double zigzags labeled minute waves W, X, and Y. 
minor wave C retraced exactly 61.8% of minor wave B, so it's either complete or near completion. Truth is, it's very difficult to present good targets at this point because the triangle is already looking quite irregular. However, minor